early days there were no uses for gems. I mean, we didn't know how to make them, so we didn't use them. First of all, I asked the boys, have you used any gel today? Most of them will say no. Then I'll say, for your hair to make it stand up, ah, yes sir, yes. <laughs> then, you use gel toothpaste in the morning. You make use of certain, those who have blood pressure or heart problems, you use tablets which are gel coated, so that there is a release of the drug is very, very slow. Then, you use gels nowadays, you see, advertisement after advertisement for Pampers, which holds the child's urine for 12 hours at a time. In our days, my mother, poor thing, I had to wash 30 times every day, 30 nappies. But now, only two, one in the morning, one in the evening, use and throw. Why means, those nappies contain a material called hydrogen. It is capable of holding on to one gram of that can hold on to 400 grams of water. That's the beauty. 400 grams. And so? And so what happens is that you do, a child during the day will not produce that much of urine. Frequency may be more, but quantity will be less. So you don't have to use more than one a day. Of course, a little expensive, but it saves your labor. And the most and final, most intriguing thing is the use of gels for producing food and fruits in desert areas. Generally what is done is they dig a trench about two meters deep, put a plastic sheet, on top of that they put these hydrogels and then cover it up and plant roots. Then they water it from the top. When the water goes down, it gets absorbed and held very tightly by the hydrogen. So the plants can take the water, the roots can take it up very, very slowly. And over a period of time, you don't have to frequently water because water is a shortage over there. And so the plants can grow. And some of the best oranges that are coming from places like Jaffa and other places in the Mi Middle East are grown on this basis. So that is all for us from our side. Mr. Satyanan will start.